Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. That's crazy. I mean, what does that even look like in person? I can't even imagine that. A trio of thieves thought a tampon could shield their identities. You heard that right. Northport police say these three ladies stole thousands of dollars worth of perfume from an Ulta. To get away, they put a tampon over their license plate. As you can see by these mug shots, it did not work. Cops say they tried to throw the evidence out the window while driving down I-75. We've told you about Ulta thieves time and time again lately. So are they responsible for the other thefts? We sent NBC2's Gage Golding to find out. Thefts have happened in Fort Myers, Naples, and Northport. You know, a lot of times these people run in, they grab, and then they're, they're out of there so quickly. In all of these, groups of women went into Ulta beauty stores with their eyes and noses set on scents. They're just literally loading up bottle after bottle after bottle into their bags and walking out the store like nothing ever happened. In recent months, this crime has exploded. There was hardly you know, two or three days that would go by where we didn't have another Ulta being hit. But luck ran out for these three Tuesday. They hit the Ulta in Northport. The trio hauled away more than $2,700 in high-end perfume. Little did they know, the jig was up and Northport police found them. They could kind of tell that they were spotted and, you know, started chucking things out the window. Bottle after bottle, the females fond of fragrance tried to unload their loot. That's crazy. I mean, what does that even look like in person? I can't even imagine that. On I-75, they led officers on a chase with speeds upwards of 120 miles per hour. All three women were arrested, none of which are from southwest Florida. They all live in Broward County. I wouldn't understand how anyone would want to come from somewhere else just to come here and try to get away with doing that. So why come here to risk a felony for fragrance? Those items are being sold either on like Facebook marketplace, online, black market, flea markets. While these ladies thought they were getting the best deal of the day by paying nada, it's the police that ended up with a two for one or maybe even more. I believe that they are uh, somewhat involved in other crimes, how many and which ones, you know, that'll be determined by those agencies. Reporting for NBC2, I'm Gage Golding.